All right. So, I am by no means an expert at this, but basically you got to get on your running board like this, right foot, left running board, or vice versa. Lean the sled over while you're steering to the right, or I guess the opposite direction that you want to lean, and then it's basically just a balancing act of keeping it from going trackside down, and that. <laughs> That was for demonstration. <laughs> oh, one more time. There we go. The more snow you have, the better, but a little bit works. And if you aim your ski tips to the right, you'll go left and kind of vice versa. And that's how you carve, sort of. So the other thing you can do when you get a little bit better feel for it is you can actually get it on its side and then sit down and that's a lot less work but it's not as easy to control then because you don't have your feet hanging off and the harder you hit your gas the more the tail will want to slide out unless it catches then that's not good I'm a little bit better on my left than my right side. I can kind of just go straight with my right. <laughs> kind of helps if you hook your toes into the stirrups too. See if I can pull the Jeremy rides. Oh, not quite. There we go, a little bit. Not quite. <laughs> oh, it is a lot of fun though, and it's it's good to get out here and practice it. Really is a good workout for your arms. Jerry's rocking the quad. Yeah, the feet in the stirrups definitely helps. That takes some strain off your upper body. There we go. A little bit of slow speed carving. Whew. Yeah, maybe I lied. This might be easier. There we go. Make Jeremy proud. <laughs> Whew. Can you turn your camera on and follow me? Let's see if we can find some fairly untouched snow. Looks like he's ready. There we go. Woo, almost lost her. Yeah, I don't know. This all of a sudden seems way easier than it was last year, so I don't know if I'm just finally getting the hang of it. Or what, but maybe maybe try this first before you try it standing. Whew. I can't see nothing. Woo! <laughs> Lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and if you give it a, a little bit of a toss at the end like that, then it'll right itself. You don't have to flip it over. Oh, that's fun though. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Sitting down has been a lot easier. I think really hooking your toes in helps a lot. Takes the stress off your upper body then. What a beautiful day to be out on the lake. Yeah, you just can't beat a sled out in the lake when there's snow. When there's not snow, then you can't beat a four-wheeler. Yeah, once you get it, once you get it down, it's real easy to kick it up. Actually, you just kind of got to get that pattern down and figure out what works for you and your sled. 
And just remember, turn left to go right. Woo! And watch those bumps. Get a little side to side action. I'm not real great at that yet. How about you guys? Is it easier to do it on one side than the other for you? Ready to go? Oh, yeah, okay. oh, what did you say? Yo. <laughs> what? I said, yo. Oh, yo! I thought she said, let's go. You sure you don't want to ride this anymore? Pretty cool. Thanks. One more. <laughs> so you can really hang off of it once you get it right. Or you can do both feet on the, the side and just go straight. Works all right too. So there you go, carving on a snowmobile. Whew. I need a break and a drink of water. I don't know how those guys do that in the mountains all day. Whew. All right, take care, stay safe, and stay swanky.